I find joy in sadness and sadness in joy. It's just in life, right? When you and I look at your child, you see, of course, it's joyful, right? But then there's the sadness of, you know, they're growing up so fast and that kind of thing. I think you can make a parallel with food, the word umami, right? That thing that you cannot describe. It's, I think that's the umami of music, music that has the two combined. Sometimes introspective, dark music help us to examine that part of ourselves that we often uh, bury. Darkness makes the light even more brilliant when we have those moments. I think there's a lot of benefit from listening to a program that is really about sad music, because you will tap in into that joy that otherwise you don't really tap into. We have difficulty dealing with darkness and with sadness. Uh, sometimes we have ways of dealing with it that create problems in our life. Music can help us examine that in ways that uh, don't involve language, in ways that are ineffable. We're doing a program of uh, contemporary composers you know, with this idea of finding solace and sadness. The central piece of the program is David Lang's Little Match Girl Passion, which is probably the saddest piece in the program. We're doing a couple of pieces by Arvo Pert, a piece by Caroline Shaw, a piece by Eric Whitaker.